have in this pot is about one to one and a half tablespoons of butter. So the reason why I put butter in this is it's going, I'm going to brown this butter, which gives it a nutty sort of flavor to your oats. So yeah, I'm just gonna brown this and it's gonna take about five minutes and you'll know it's brown when the foam starts to subside on the butter and the milk solids start to get a little bit more brown. Like I'll show you, obviously. You wanna make sure you stir this butter every so often and keep it on a medium to low heat as it will burn quite easily. So if it starts to get too bubbly and hot, just turn the heat down. While your butter is um, browning, uh, you can either toast your pecans with a little bit of salt or you can just leave them raw. I'm going to personally toast them because I find it gives out a much nicer flavor. Just like so. Just a little bit of salt. And pop them in the oven for about five to ten minutes. So this is the color you want your butter. It's brown, it's not burnt, it's got that perfect sweet smell. That's what, we, that's what we want in our butter. And now we're gonna add about a third cup of oats, or you can add as much oats, as much less oats you want. It doesn't matter. It's, this is all your preference. I'm just showing you how to make it. <laughs> so on back on the heat, you're gonna add your oats. And you're gonna toast them in the butter till they're all nice and covered. Now you're gonna add water and toast them for about two minutes. Okay, now you're gonna add about half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I just added, oh no. Just added, oh no. That's not good. We did not just see this fail. We did not get this on camera. That is so unfortunate, but I literally just spilled this vanilla like everywhere. Like, anyways, continuing back to our oats. <laughs> so we added water to get these oats to cook a little bit, but if you want to make them creamier like I'm going to, I'm gonna, I would add coconut milk, but I don't got coconut milk. So we're gonna see what we have. I have, the barista edition oat milk. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. I'm trying to stay away from oat milk as it's really high in carbs as I'm eating oats. Just a teaspoon to like maybe a quarter teaspoon of maple syrup just for some sweetness. To the gym, we're going to add my favorite pea protein ever, Tropica Lean Vanilla Protein. So we're gonna do like about a heaping tablespoon of vanilla protein. So we're just gonna break these up. You can roughly chop them or you can just be like me. Now you guys also, can, like everyone else does on YouTube and Instagram, is you guys can add um, more maple syrup on top. You can add flax seeds, you can add chia seeds. Thumbnail. No, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, this is what the brown butter pecan oatmeal. This was a cooking video without taste testing, right? Mmm, that's actually really good. Next is a newer recipe. I've never actually made this before, so we're gonna wing it just for you guys. So right here I have a pink lady peeled, poorly peeled apple. We're gonna cut this in cubes. Now you can use any apple you have in your fridge. It doesn't matter. I just happen to have a pink lady in my fridge. So we're gonna turn it on medium to low heat on the stove. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of water to this. About a tablespoon or two, cause we don't want it to turn into applesauce. We just want it to stew a little bit. And in the pot, I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth teaspoon of clove, and the same amount with ginger. I would use fresh ginger, but we ain't fancy here. And you're just gonna give this a quick stir. And I'm going to, but if you don't, if you just wanna use the sweetness of the apple and you don't wanna add any extra sweetness, then don't. But I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of maple syrup, 
just so I can give it a little bit sweeter. In this pot, I got three quarter cups oats. Again, you can use as much as you want, as less as you want. We're gonna add about quarter to half a cup of water in the oats, and then I'm gonna use oat milk for the rest. I would use coconut milk, but at this point in time, I don't have coconut milk. Okay, I lied, I do got some coconut milk. So we're just gonna add a little bit, just to make it creamy. Okay, so we're gonna turn this oatmeal on medium heat. If you're wondering why there's more oats, I just realized Adam wanted some, so I'm making enough for two people. So we're just gonna add a little bit more stock. Just a little bit of cinnamon to this oatmeal, just give that extra kick of spice. If your apples are not done stewing and they get a little dry in the pot, just add a little bit more water. So I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of chia seeds as well as a teaspoon of flax seeds and a teaspoon of hemp hearts. All right, we got our stewed apples. They're pretty much done. Again, I just added more water to this because it's just taking a lot longer than I thought to cook. Just keep adding water until you want the desired texture of your apples. Here, I just warmed up some coconut milk that I'm going to pour over our oats just to get it that creamy texture. All right, and you're just gonna place a good amount of apples on top. Here is the finished project. So in this bowl, I have one small grated carrot all grated up and peeled inside this bowl. I'm going to place this in the pot on medium to low heat just to cook up a little bit because we don't want raw carrot in our oatmeal. And I'm gonna add a bit of spice to that. So I have nutmeg, about a teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth teaspoon of clove, maybe more depending on how tolerant you are to clove. It's pretty pungent and a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna stir this all up and let it cook for about one to two minutes. To this mixture, I'm gonna add about a cup of water, about a quarter cup of oat milk, and a cup and a half of oats. This recipe is for two people. So I would, if you're going to make it for one person, I would cut it down to three quarter cup of oats to a cup of oats just for you. I'm gonna add another cup of water and let this simmer for about five minutes. A little bit of vanilla and about a tablespoon of maple syrup. Also, if you want, you can taste it and adjust the seasoning like I just did. I added a bit more clove and a bit more cinnamon, just to your desired taste. Also, for health benefits, I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of flax seeds, and I'm gonna add some crushed walnuts as well. I'm adding a little bit of salt to mine just for a little kick of flavor enhancement. Don't worry, I'll write everything down in the description box. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth today, so I'm going to add a little bit of almond butter, tiny sprinkle of coconut sugar. You guys can use regular brown sugar too, it doesn't matter. And there you have it. Very quick, easy, spiced carrot cake oats. Okay, don't mind me, I look like a rat right now. But let's do a taste test. Since I didn't do the taste test in the last, I think it was the apple one, I didn't do a taste test. So we're just gonna do a taste test. No, it's not bad. I could use a little bit more spice though. So I think I'm gonna tweak that a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. And there will be more recipes in the future. Okay, bye.